okay so now we are on lesson 24 and we still on electrostatics but now we're gonna kind of shift our attention to um electric field um so uh, our learning of say these are some of our learning objectives these are the things that you should know by the time you sit for your um physical sciences exam on the when is it paper one i think is on the 12th of um november so you should be able to describe what is an electric field and an electric field is a region of space in which an electric charge experiences a force the direction of the electric field at a point is the direction that a positive charge would move if placed at that point this is an important thing and you'll do you'll see when we do um, a number of calculations so another thing you should be able to draw electric field lines for the following configuration a single point charge two point charges one which is negative the other one is positive or both are positive or both are negative as well as a charged sphere right and then know that the restrictions to situation in which this uh, so some restrictions are that these charges are identical in magnitude um another thing that you should be able to do let me go up is just to define an electric field at a point at a point as the electric field at a point is the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at that point and in symbol this is given by by this right and then you have to also solve problems relating to this equation calculate the electric field at a point due to a number of charges using um the, this another equation this equation to determine the contribution to the field due to each charge and then they saying that our restriction will only be uh, three charges so at most you'll only be asked about three charges in a straight line and you will see in the next lesson when we um have a problem with those three charges in a single line so that is basically what our discussion is going to be about so now um the next thing that we can do is to actually show you how to draw um electric uh field around uh points all right so now how do we actually draw electric field lines around um charges so if the charge is positive um so this is a single point charges so this is from um just mentioning it in terms of so that we don't have a copyright violation this is from science clinic um yeah and i think you guys actually have this um available to you this were made of it these notes were made available to you so now we have these two charges if it's positive the electric field lines will seem to be emerging from the positive charge towards you know the outside you know and then here if it's negative the electric field line seems to be entering in a way um informally if we have to say that you're entering into the positive the negative charge so now let's say we have uh two unlike our uh, charges of equal magnitude so the magnitude is the same and this one is positive this one is negative so it will be like this electric fields lines are emerging uh, from the positive charge and then disappearing into the negative charge so it's very important for you to know how to draw these configurations and then here let's say we have like charges there we are we have like charges so let me okay so we have a, two, a negative coulomb two charges that repel each other they have different magnitude but they are both negative this is how you would draw their thing equal magnitude this is how you would draw those configuration and even here at the bottom these ones are just positive so it's very very important for you to be able to know how to draw all of this so look at them or practice them and understand them so yes now let us actually get into our lesson where we talk about electric field strength okay so we have already uh, defined what electric field strength is in the introduction of this video and we said that electric field strength at any point in space is the force per unit charge experienced by a positive test charge at that point all right so let's say for an example so this would be your electric field strength e it's measured in newton per coulomb this would be your force measured in newtons and then this would be your charge and we know that it's measured in coulombs 
all right so imagine that um so this would be the charge that experiences the force right okay so imagine we have a scenario such as this one we have a, a charge there q a big charge and then we have a point charge here let's call this point q right so this point q will experience a force due to charge q this point q here will experience a force this point q here will experience a force due to this point to this charge here and then this this is will be the charge that is experiencing the electric field uh, due to q all right so now in terms of direction what would the direction of the electric field be direction of e so the direction of e uh, so it would be the direction that q let me write this down because it's important direction that q would move if it was if it was positive so let's take an example say they they talking about let's say they saying you should find uh the electric field direction so this is a point charge we're not sure whether it's positive or negative so you find the electric field let's say this is negative so the electric field at this point would move um it would the direction would be um the direction that this q would move if it was positive so if it this if q was positive we can agree and q was negative it would move to this direction so it would move to the left so meaning the direction would be to the left but now if q was positive we can agree that q if q is positive then q will also be moving in the other direction so q would move to the right because they would kind of repel each other so i'm hoping that is making sense that is something that is just very important in terms of um determining the direction of the electric field at a positive point charge so now let us just take a quick calculation okay so we have a a question here and it says that charge b experiences a force of two newtons due to a so this charge experiences a force of two newtons due to a um, determine the electric field strength at point b all right so now here we are we say that we have two charges a and b and then b experiences a force of two newtons due to the presence of a and now we have to find um, the electric field strength at b so we would say electric field strength would be equals to f over q right and then the force that this experiences is two all of it divided by the force the, the charge that experiences the electric field is this one so meaning here would have five multiplied by so this is a negative there so remember this is just how you you would convert from micro coulomb to just coulomb so micro means 10 to the power of minus six hence we have this 10 to the power of minus six minus six ten and if you put that in your calculator then you would have five or uh, four multiplied by ten to the power of five uh, what is that newton per coulomb right okay so another so another important thing would be what is then the direction so we have found e to be equals to four multiplied by ten to the power of five Mal yeah newton per coulomb okay so what is the direction then so the direction would be imagine the chart the direction would be the di the direction that this b would move if it was positive so imagine this charge was not actually negative but it was positive and it has now it's experiencing an electric field um exerted by a positive charge so what would happen to them they would actually repel each other so the electric field would actually be to the right so you then see to the right i hope that is making sense okay let us now do another quick calculation so another formula that we can use to calculate um electric field strength is given by k q r squared where E is the electric field and it's still measured in non-newtons per coulomb and then K is your coulomb's constant 
and we said the value of it is 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of um, 9 newton meter squared per coulomb squared right and then q is your charge is measured in coulomb and then r is the distance between the um the, the the two things that the two charges that we are talking about so in that scenario we would have a q and maybe a point charge here we call it x so this would be the distance between them so and then this would just be a certain point in space we call it x and then yeah we've already mentioned so q here is the charge that actually creates the electric field and this charge this point charge will experience a q's electric field so now let us do a calculation and yeah and see how we can go about tackling that okay so we have a question here and it says determine the electric field at point p due to q so we have a, a q that has a an electric field around it and p is a, just a point charge that experiences this electric field um around point q right and the charge on q is 3 microcoulomb which we can write as 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb this is 5 millimeters the distance between them are so we can say it's 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3 meters and we have to calculate um the electric field so we can use that equation that you've just been introduced to where say q over k q over r squared um our k is 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 um the thing the the charge that causes an electric field uh, that has an electric field around it is 3 multiplied by um 10 to the power of minus 6 all of it divided by the distance the separation between q and the point charge this is 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3 all of it squared and i think when you put this entire thing in your calculator you are supposed to come to a value of about 1.08 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 nano not nano newton coulomb um so now what is then the direction so the direction of that po the direction of e at that point would be the direction P would move if it was positive. So this is positive. If this P was positive, they would repel each other, meaning P would actually move in this direction. So we would say it is to the right. And this brings us to the end of this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at a previous question paper. So thank you so much for watching.